Ukraine has officially joined the NATO Cyber Defense Center of Excellence and will now be able to participate in its activities. We thank the Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence sponsoring nations for inviting Ukraine and express our special gratitude to the government of Estonia for their support and assistance on the way to NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence. From the post of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine on Twitter. For Ukraine, joining the Center for Advanced Technologies is a unique opportunity to strengthen its own cyber defense. On the basis of this center, training is provided for relevant specialists. And up to the fact that new technologies are being introduced, new hardware to protect against cyber threats based on these countries. The International Cyber Defense Center is one of the structures of the North Atlantic Alliance, and the official accession of Ukraine to the center is another step on the way to NATO. The most important task of the North Atlantic Alliance is to ensure the victory of Ukraine in the war with Russia, said the NATO Secretary General. The most urgent task now is to ensure that Ukraine prevails, that Russian President Putin does not win this war. We don't know how this war will end, but what we do know is that when it ends, it is extremely important that we are able to prevent history from repeating itself. Ian Stoltenberg, NATO Secretary General, from a statement at the Copenhagen Democracy Sun. Allies supply Ukraine with the most modern types of weapons. Recently, Prime Minister of United Kingdom Rishi Sunak said that the UK and the Netherlands are ready to help Ukraine get F-16 fighter jets. The transfer of modern military aircraft to Ukraine may become the main topic at the G7 summit in Japanese Hiroshima and then at the NATO summit in Lithuania in July. Ukraine hopes to receive about 40-50 fighter jets from Western partners and form three or four squadrons to protect the sky. The United States Secretary of Defense has made it quite clear that they will be handed over in 18 months. He said this a couple of months ago. That is we can assume that in a year, maybe earlier, depending on the needs and the situation at the front, this aircraft will be transferred. NATO is already waiting for Ukraine. Advisor to the head of the office of the president of Ukraine, Mikhailo Podolak, is sure. We will have the most comprehensive experience of waging major wars using weapons of NATO standards. The entire arsenal on which the NATO bloc is based is already in Ukraine. We synchronize it, integrate it into a single system and use it effectively. Earlier, the Polish Senate adopted a resolution in which it called for Kyiv to be admitted to NATO according to the procedure of Finland and Sweden.